Coming up, copy any web page design straight to HTML and CSS or any other framework you like, whether it's Next.js in Tailwind or even Bootstrap or Shopify's Liquid with pretty great results. So oftentimes I come across a design or a page that I want to copy or reproduce. And in order to do that, I need to use a page builder and build it out from scratch or just start coding the blocks in straightforward HTML and CSS bit by bit. You can't just copy the source of a page. If you view the source of a web page, it's often very verbose and it's full of metadata and it's not designed for the particular framework that you want to use. So when OpenAI launched ChatGPT Vision, uh, some use cases came out where designers were drawing insights or drawing designs on papers and then asking GTP, GPT to code those up. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I wondered how successfully could you use this to actually build web pages and could it convert it to any framework? The first thing I did was find a site that I liked. In this case, I'm looking at the Next.js web page itself. So first, I'm going to copy the whole page and there's a great tool called Go Full Page which will move through the whole page, taking screenshots of each section and stitching it together into one completed image. So this saves a lot of work. When we're done, we can download this and then just open up ChatGPT. Make sure you're using ChatGPT 4 with vision enabled um, and then just upload the image and use a simpler prompt to the one that I'm pasting in here below. So you're going to get the outputted sections and then what you want to do is copy and paste those that entire section into your Next.js component. Now, the problem is it's not going to give you the level of detail that you want in each one of the components. So what I do next then is, okay, great. Give me the exact detail and fine details of this component. And then I go back to my component in Next.js or my component homepage, and I just paste in those various different sections. If I'm still not getting the detail that I want, I'll go back to the page itself. I'll use the Windows uh, snippet tool or the screenshot tool to select exactly the section I want. And then I go back into ChatGPT, paste that into the, into the box and say, please adhere to the colors and layouts. Last time the color was wrong, make sure that it's white, etc. And then it'll spit out some refined code. I'll paste that back in and uh, refresh. And as you can see, after a while, you'll quickly develop the page. This just took me a couple of minutes of prompting and pasting, and then I can actually refine it as I need to. So in terms of time saving, I think if you were to try and code this from scratch or develop it out, even if you were a proficient code coder, I think on the lower end, you're talking about a two hour time saving and on the mid range developer level, probably about five hours. If you're getting into more complex designs with sidebars, pop outs, and responsiveness, you're saving a huge amount of time. What I've actually also done to make this a whole lot easier for you is I've created a custom GPT to handle this for you with all the prompts pre-programmed. And I'm going to share the link in the description so you can basically click on that and it will take you to the GPT custom bot previews and then just start working with it from there. I'm going to be playing around with this feature a little bit more and publishing what I know as I learn it. So if you'd like to keep up to date with that, like, subscribe, follow for more.